So a couple of days ago, I posted a video talking about how the Good Luck module called Multistar was once again compatible with the Galaxy Z Fold line while running One UI 5.0, in this case, running the beta of One UI 5.0. And in that video, I called out a specific Good Luck Multistar feature that I thought was really, really useful. In this video, we're gonna look at that particular feature a bit more, kind of highlighted a bit more in this video, but also look at another feature that is in the settings of your Galaxy Z Fold uh, 4 and presumably back at this point, that is going to make multitasking on this device, I think, just a whole heck of a lot better. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into our Galaxy Store and download Good Law. Now the Galaxy Store should be pre-installed on your device and that is what it looks like there. Let's go to the search button and search for good luck. This is what we're looking for here. So go ahead and install that and once it's done, let's open that up and there's a module that we need to install next called Multistar. You should see it probably scroll down a little bit and you're looking for a download button that looks a bit like that. So click on the download button and it will take you to, I think it takes you to the Galaxy Store to download it. And you can go back into Good Luck, and there is your multi star application. And the setting that we're looking for is right here multi window screen zoom. Before I actually enable this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what things look like before when this setting is not turned on. So let's launch Twitter and let's launch YouTube next to Twitter so that we have these two applications split screen. And I want you to look at how much stuff is actually on the screen. And I want you to see it in person as well, right? So actually get a view here of what we're looking at, how much stuff is actually on the screen. And yes, I mean, honestly, this is not a terrible experience. You can see, you know, two full tweets there, you know, two and a half videos there. And, you know, it does a good job because it's such a large screen of fitting a decent amount of stuff on each screen. But they both just feel really, really cramped to me, and it's not something I enjoy doing. Typically what I'll do is I will rotate the device this way, and while technically, did they just switch? They switched sides, didn't they? That's weird. Even though I'm actually seeing, quote unquote, less content, because now I'm only seeing like one tweet in two videos, basically, I actually much prefer this, because they just don't feel nearly as cramped, and it reminds me a lot of using something like my Surface Duo or my Duo 2, where again, yes, technically when it's rotated this way around, you can see more things, but they're really skinny, they're really narrow, and they're really cramped. And I just think it's it's honestly just not a great experience. So that is what this setting uh, is going to hopefully help us fix to some degree. So let's go back into Good Lock. We'll go back into Multistar and let's go back to Multi-Window Screen Zoom. Let's turn this on. And you can turn this on for split screen view or for pop up view. I actually think it makes sense to have them both enabled. And I'll show you. Uh, we'll do we'll do one, and then we'll do the other to make it nice and easy. So now let's go back home. We actually have to close that app that we had uh, split screening. You know, let's open it back up again. There's Twitter, and now there is YouTube. And strangely enough, this hasn't actually totally worked correctly. Twitter has stayed the same. So that's, sometimes it does this when you first enable it. So let's rotate and rotate back, and there we go. Okay, now it has zoomed out. And now what I think you should be able to see here is that we're now seeing a whole extra tweet down here. Things have zoomed out quite a bit. We're seeing a lot more on both of these applications, and I can compare this very quickly because I was smart enough to take a screenshot. So that is what we were looking at before, right? And this is what we're looking at now. And then if you take this and you rotate it this way, it becomes, to me, I think, a much better experience. And it really does in some ways. I mean, in terms of like content on the screen, you're actually right there with the Z Fold 2, if not actually a little bit better. You can see a bit further down on YouTube and a bit further down on uh, on Twitter there. Now, the biggest thing to keep in mind is obviously that some of the things that are true about Duo and true about Fold obviously are not going to change. So the biggest thing for me is still the fact that your gestures are going to be interacting with the last used app. So if I use this app and then try to swipe back over here, I'm going to go back on YouTube. It's, the gestures are not dependent upon the size. So in a perfect world, swiping back over here, we go back on this app, back over here, we go back on this app. But that is, in fact, not what happens. It actually is, like I said, if I'm using this app and then I go back, it will go back on that application, which it just closed it. So that is still definitely suboptimal. Now, the other setting that I think is uh, really, really worth changing is one that is just actually in the settings. You don't have to install any particular app to do this. If you go into your settings 
you scroll down to advanced features. We're looking for labs up here at the top. And then we are looking for swipe for split screen. And I actually know why mine is grayed out and I actually can't turn it off. Maybe this is something they've just enabled by default and I'm wasting my time. But the point of this is that you can swipe two fingers in from the side and then get this view here where you can then launch whatever application you want to launch in split screen. The cool thing about this app is that it's dependent upon what side you swipe on. If I swipe over here, well then the split screen app is going to open up on that side. I think you can swipe up from the bottom. Okay, I guess it's just the sides. I swear I've done that in the past, but whatever. You can swipe in from the left or right side. And basically, it just makes getting into split screen a whole lot easier. And I think that that's a good one to have on as well. Let's go back into good luck, though, because I said that we were going to look at the uh, floating window setting as well. So let's open up an app in the floating window so we can see it before. So we'll do YouTube. We'll bring it up into the floating window. And this is what we have currently. Not a whole lot visible there. Let's close that out. Now let's turn it on for pop-up view and do this again. And I think you can see that a little bit more is visible. We're getting into that second app a little bit. YouTube probably isn't the best example for this uh, particular setting, but you can see that even in the pop-up view, you are getting a little bit more content on screen. So yeah, there you go. Those are a couple of settings. One in Good Luck Multistar, one just in your settings in general that I think are worth enabling to make your multitasking experience a little bit better. I still don't think that these settings do enough i would love to see some more good luck stuff like the ability to make your gestures uh, correlate with the app that is on the side of the screen that you're making gestures with that would really take the multitasking on the z fold to a whole new height but without that being there this is pretty much for me as good as it gets give this a shot let me know what you think about it in the comments down below if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i'll see you on the next one and until next time stay nerdy my friend.